Hey guys, we're back today with Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. This is Honest Steven. I apologize for the uh, long hiatus there. Uh, don't really have a very worthwhile reason behind it, but you know, essentially as always, issues outside of my control came up and I had to deal with them. My son is a uh, have been has been having quite a few uh, inconsistent nights with rest lately so he might pop up and uh, give us a bit of interruption we'll see how that goes though um, but yeah so last time we had finished getting through Lucas's experimental area and gathering the pieces of the D-series to make the serum to cure Mia and uh, Zoe. And then we ended up encountering a fully mutated Jack who forced our hand, caused us to use one of the serums, and then left us to make a choice of who we were going to save, Mia or Zoe. We chose Mia for, you know, obvious reasons, and now we, uh, we uh, we are playing as Mia, who was on. She's on the tanker ship that was mentioned in some of the notes Jack left, and uh, this is technically a video recording of what happened right before the Bakers found uh, the tanker ship. So we're trying to find Evelyn who has escaped and is running amok and obviously Mia is uh, more properly equipped for this than it, you would have assumed oh, thought you were dead The reason we're playing as Mia, besides the video, is because Ethan uh, was knocked unconscious after leaving the Baker's household, and he was taken away by the Molded. I always forget about you. Alright, left bumper's guard, right bumper's heel. It has been a while. Hopefully we finish this tonight. For several reasons. One, I would like to just have the game finished. But two, you guys have been waiting very long for me to f knock out the last two or three episodes that are going to be done with this. And, and not only just that, but... Um, like I mentioned, my son not sleeping well. This is, this could go either way. I gotta start guarding again. I'm super rusty. There's a box here somewhere. Oh, it's super dark, man. I don't remember it being this dark. <clears throat> Regarding that, uh, just in case anybody was wondering and hasn't commented, uh, your image quality, well, quality is not the right word, the image you're seeing in the video is brighter than what I see on my television. I have my TV uh, not perfectly calibrated because I'm, I don't have the kit for that. I'm not an expert regarding uh, TVs, but it is calibrated to be optimal for my room, and that means it's a uh, it's pretty dark. Uh, not unnaturally so. It it looks fine most of the time. 
Um, but some games that are darker do penalize me a little bit more than others. And due to YouTube's compressions and stuff like that, you all see a slightly brighter image. So you'll see things in the dark like this easier than I probably would. So if you're wondering why I'm missing things or how I didn't notice something, that's probably the reason. It's also worth pointing out that I am trying to get and see everything I can, uh, but I'm also not concerned about complete, completing this 100%, uh, mostly due to time, but also because I just... Unless you guys request that I'm not going to do subsequent runs on higher difficulties or anything. So, not really justified in trying to unlock the uh, bonus items. <clears throat> Grabbing these corrosives, which are then used to open certain locked doors. We've passed a couple. Like this. Are you mad? No, Evie. I'm not mad. Wait. What did you call me? I don't want to live in the lab anymore. I want a house. And I want you to be my mommy. Okay, Evie. I'll be your mommy. Just come back with me. Right now. Okay? Oh, okay, yeah. I thought you had to walk behind us to trigger the Where are you? next sequence. But it's been a while, so... Uh, you get a lot of these remote bombs. Um, so it's worth using them. No reason to hold on to them. But something annoying about them is if these guys grab you a specific way, they'll knock you down onto the ground and you have to fight them off. If you have remote bombs, when that happens, you can shove the remote bomb in their mouth and uh, get an instant kill, but also you get a, a trophy or achievement for it. Um, I have never had that work. Uh, the enemies will grab me all the time in the Baker house, they'll grab me all the time in the old house, in the experimental area, and everything like that. But once I get to the point where, uh, I actually have the bombs, they don't ever grab me. I cannot get it to work for the life of me, and I don't know why. It is one of very few trophies that I'm missing on this game, uh, with my personal profile. Kind of frustrating, but it's not an important thing, so not really a big deal. Oh, I'm gonna die. Hoo wee! This is uh, generally considered the weakest part of the game by most players. It's longer than it should be. It's very uh, action-focused. 
There's a lot going on. It's very hectic. There's a lot of ammo being dumped. You get a machine gun. Um, I do generally agree with the consensus, but not so much that I think it ruins the experience. Uh, it shows that the people dealing with Evelyn are a bit more serious about it than we might have assumed. And it shows that Mia's more involved than we would have guessed originally, so it works out. But it does run on longer than it should. You can also use the corrosives to open up lock boxes here, like these here. Man, that door's been open ever since I came through here at the start. That's ridiculous. Just missing my entire clip, man. Running low on ammo. That's never good. You have ammo in here? Um, based on the numerous times that I've gone through this, there are enough corrosives on the boat to um unlock everything so no reason to hold on to the stuff and there's nothing important in any of them it's just bombs and ammo and things but still worth noting Just as a refresher, this is the room we're currently standing in as present day Mio watching the VHS tape on this TV. How did you get here? Which question? She's out of control. Without the treatments, she's deteriorating. Well, it's a good thing we're already dying. <coughs> She never trusts me. Okay. Wait. Evie, no, Evie, Evie. Ellen, listen. I didn't mean to call you that. She's Evie, trying to take to, control. To, you have to fight her. <laughs> Evelyn, stop! Stop right now! Don't touch me, don't. Man, we didn't even get to learn anything about that guy. And now we know how Mia became infected.
You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Forget that you ever knew me. Have a good life. Now we just went full circle. That is what we started the game with. We'll be together forever. So <clears throat> now we're back at present time. I'm going to save it. Um, I've said it several times to several different people, so if I've already voiced it here, I do apologize for the re repetition. But uh, I don't like Evelyn. Once she's fully introduced to the plot and you directly interact with her, I just kind of feel like. That's pretty much unreadable. Um, I just feel like she's, her character model doesn't animate as well as it should compared to other people, especially, uh, Lucas's model. Um, her voice acting's not great, uh, it's very stilted, and, uh, cold, and yeah, she's, you know, a messed up kid with, you know, ghost powers, but I can only forgive that so much. Um, wrong button. I don't know. Uh, when she was a background thing and stuff like that, she was totally fine. But once they put her full, full, full exposure like that, uh, I th kind of loses its allure a bit. Like interacting face to face with Jack and Marguerite and stuff, that they were memorable and intimidating and uh, you know fleshed out. Evelyn, not so much. Uh, due to the fact that we are in a different timeline, I have no equipment. I have what you see here. No guns, no knives, no anything like that, which makes this part a little bit more difficult than it could be. Ethan. And there he is. All gooped up. I hope I make it in time. Okay. Bottom level. Hallucinations. Where is she? Spooky. Good. Now we have a weapon.
map, always useful. Log wrench. There's our machine gun. I gotta stop hitting that button. Ah, uh, you're down there, so we'll go up. Not only for that reason, but there's a knife. Now we have a few options to defend ourselves. Dang it, didn't see the type of door. Let's not go in there yet. You away and you. Same note as before. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it leave a comment if you have any feedback subscribe if you want to keep up with my uploads generally speaking they are a lot more consistent than this after I'm done this game and after I get my personal issues resolved I should be back on track again I do apologize again um, but I am going to do my best to get this knocked out tonight so you should have a new episode every day till it's over so stick with it if you want for now I'm gonna continue doing my best to bring you one of the most honest opinions you can find online and I hope to talk to you guys later see ya